today marks one year since I first arrived in Canada and I arrived. I was granted a 12 month working visa, so that's now expired. Now I find myself in Seattle and today I'm going to try to cross the border back into Vancouver and hope that that's not difficult. I'm expecting they'll grant me a tourist visa. I don't know, what if they don't want to? Ah, what if they think I want to work there? Ah, like illegally and stuff. And I so don't. I really, really don't want to work there. I really want to leave. One year in Canada has basically prepared me for my return journey home. I've learned a lot about what home means to me and where home is for me. And now I'm ready to go there. Um, I'm slightly apprehensive that when I try to cross the border into Canada they won't know all this and will uh, suspect me of nefarious intentions and will be reluctant to grant me a visa. But hopefully that's not okay. Oh well, I suppose if I get stuck in the States, I'll just have to be an illegal immigrant here for worse places to be. <laughs> I just went down to Seattle for a couple of days and I've got back to Vancouver now and I'm exhausted so I'm just having a wee lie down. Um, the entire point of me going on this trip was to come back with a new visa because today was the day that my work visa expired and I can no longer legally work here or be here so I thought I'd cross the border come back get a new visa just to say I can stay for you know a few weeks while I'm traveling and um, I entered back across the border today and the man noticed that my work visa had expired and then he's like, uh, blah blah blah, are you working? And I'm like, no, I've just quit my job. And he's like, okay. Then he just let me back in without actually issuing me a new visa. And I'm like, well, I really didn't need to be here, did I? Because he didn't just give me anything. So, yeah, I didn't actually get what I'd set out to get, but whatever. Um, I still had a great time in Seattle. I really did. I like being able to say, so the other day when I was in Seattle, um, it's quite nice. Uh, so the other day when I was in Seattle, I was in a cafe and I was reading a magazine and I could smell this weird smell. It smelled like tar seal, like roadworks, maybe a bit of petroleum. And um, I was looking around something might be causing that smell, couldn't identify it, mm, thought, thought not too much more about it, but continued on with my life. Then the next day, still in Seattle, I was um, in another restaurant in Seattle and uh, I was reading this magazine and I smelled the same smell again. And I was like, oh come on Seattle, like why are you smelling like tar, Seattle? I'm in Seattle and I smell tar. What's that about? Um, then I figured out what was causing it. It was actually the magazine I was reading. That's where the smell was coming from. And I thought that was kind of gross because magazines shouldn't be made of petrol. Just goes to show sometimes you bring the stench with you.